How to use PageFly landing page builder on Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll showcase how to use PageFly for your Shopify store, how to create pages within it and how to actually use it. So uh, let's actually get started without wasting much time. So what you need to do is go to go to your Shopify dashboard uh, and you just need to navigate to your apps or Shopify app store. Uh, let me just go ahead and go to Shopify app store right here. And we just go ahead and search for page. Fly. Okay, so you can see it's going to be the first one page fly landing page builder. Uh, this one right here. So you can see the type of things that you'll be getting you can see the pricing plans and everything and i'm not going to go through all of them uh this is not going to be the point of this video uh you if you want to compare all the plans and stuff feel free to do so uh but i will just show you what we can do from here so we will just go ahead and uh, install it to our shopify store by clicking on the install button and then we will obviously need to confirm our installation and that's pretty much how to actually go ahead and install the PageFly uh, builder. So uh, real quickly, let me just uh, well, tell you a few things. It's going to be very easy to use PageFly builder. Uh, you can also watch the introduction video if you want uh, and all of those things. It's going to be very easy. It's a uh, drag and drop, uh, like very easy to interact with and uh, everything is going to be very simple. And I will just show you just in case you are lost or don't know what to do. So once you're in this page, if you want to um, watch this video or watch the introduction video, you can do so. Uh, and we can just go ahead and actually create our first page. We can just either click on start creating pages here, or we can just navigate to within the app to pages. Let me just disable this. And we can either uh, create uh, create a blank page and start uh, from zero from scratch or we can actually go ahead and start from a template it's going to be completely up to you but i highly recommend uh, at least if you're just starting out to actually go ahead and start from a template and then just change the elements that you want to change it's just going to make things a lot easier for you now there are going to be other things here as well like sections uh, and analytics uh, which you will need to enable uh, and other things as well, like other apps that you can integrate, um, and many things here that you can actually use within the PageFly builder. But I'm not. I'm just going to be focusing within the actual creation of a page. So let me just go ahead and select a template first. So we just click on Create uh, from Template, and then we just go ahead and choose uh, what type of page we want to create. Whether it's going to be a regular page home page, product page, a collection or blog post, or a page that is uh, protected, protected with a password is going to be completely up to you. I will just go ahead and select home page uh, for the sake of this tutorial, but feel free to do so uh, or, you know, select whichever page that you want to create from this uh, section right here. And it's going to give you templates that are going to be related to it. So I'll just select home page. So basically, I just skipped ahead. It's going to give you a lot of templates that, to choose from. Uh, you can preview it like I'm doing right now. And then we just can use select this template. Okay, so uh, once it loads in, uh, you should actually find uh, the template that we have just chosen. And you can see pretty much what we have here. And you can just edit whichever you want in here. So. Uh, for example, this image right here, if you just click on it right away, it's going to actually show you on the right side uh, that you have uh, the image here that you can obviously change. So we can just click on select. Uh, we can upload an image and we can actually go ahead and upload a different image. This way we can actually replace images from here. And this is basically how to use this uh, um, builder. You pretty much just go ahead Click on whichever thing that you want to change and you can just simply change it. So we can actually go ahead and uh, clear this because it's, it, it does not look good. 
Or let me just go ahead and actually uh, select a different image, like this one, for example, just to fill it in. Okay, so again, like I said, uh, you click on anything in here, and you will have options for it. So here, you can see it's, uh, for, for example, this text, we can just click on it, and we can either adjust it from within the screen itself. So uh, just an example text, or we can actually adjust it from within here to uh, edit more things. For example, if you want to make it bold, you just select all of it, make sure it is bold, uh, and it's going to change. And uh, you can also change other things here, like the uh, whether it's a heading one uh, or other stuff. And you can do multiple things to each specific element here. So it's going to change uh, in here. So here again, if you want to change the text within here, uh, we can go ahead and uh, you know change it and for example let's say i want to also change the font we can do so so let me just first change the text so we just type in change the text so let's say i actually want to make it a little bit different so here let's actually go ahead and change to the default presets the color has changed so let me just go ahead and make sure it is white and we can increase a few things here for example the font we can actually just change it within here but i believe you will need to set up the font um the fonts that you will be using for your builder outside from the actual settings of the application and here we can uh, change the text alignment so if you, for example if you wanted to make it in the middle you can do so and we can click on here and you can you know like i said uh actually choose the family of fonts that you want to be using uh, for your builder here and here you can change it with it to be bold and stuff apparently in the general settings it doesn't really uh, affect it here it does so make sure you uh, do it from here and you've got multiple stuff to actually uh, choose from like increase the padding and so on but moving on again you can just go ahead and change anything from within here for example you would just want to change to change the images of uh, those again just click on it and you will be able to go ahead and change uh, within the general settings the images and stuff the same goes for the text here and uh, here you can also not only change the text but uh, it, uh, select what the button does by just clicking on it changing the text that you want to change so we can just like change it again like I said uh, or uh, here we go to click action and give it a function. So we go to URL and we just select a URL or for example, go to uh, a page or whatever it may be. And we can just go ahead and actually use it. So if it's uh, a page, apparently you just go ahead and put the URL to the page and you can just go ahead and have it in here or select a page. Okay, so uh, same thing here, just change whatever you want by just clicking on it and adjusting it to your style. Now, what I've been saying for, for this entire thing is how to actually change stuff. But what if you want to actually add stuff? To add stuff, you have this side menu on the left side uh, where you'll be able to... Uh, here you can show the outline, you know, the hell, uh, like uh, the all the elements that are available. You can see them in here. But to add stuff, you just click on add elements and you should find a lot of stuff here. So we can change, add a layout. For example, let's say here, I want to remove all of this, for example. So let me just go ahead and delete, delete uh, the entire thing. Let me just go ahead and delete all of this and add a section in here. So we just add element and we just uh, add this one, for example. We just drag and drop and we have it in here. And then we just click on column one and we, we just do whichever thing we want with it. So we can just add a new item in which will add another column, which we don't want that. Here, select an action, whether we want it to have stuff to it or if you want to add an image to it, you can completely do that. Uh, we can move it wherever we want and we also can add more stuff to it. So for example, add element. Uh, let me actually just add an image to 
oh sorry so add an image drag and drop in here okay i think it is lagging a little bit so let me just turn this off go back to add elements uh and let me just drag it here and go to add element again and drag it here and we should be good to go so now we added elements to the two columns that we have just added and to select an image again you just cl click on select image and you choose the image that you want uh same goes for here and again uh same thing goes for any other element in here you just simply drag and drop and you should find yourself with a very easily built landing page or product page or whatever it may be later on you can just go ahead and save uh give it a title a title so home uh it's page just click on save and you can just go ahead and keep doing that for the rest of the pages uh, and like it says here after saving you will need to publish the page to make it go live uh, and you can preview them from within the pages tab within the settings of the actual app that we have from shopify um so it's pretty much very easily simple and uh self-explanatory you just click on whichever you want and you can just go ahead and change it um it's very easy and simple for example this the background you, you don't want to keep it like this you just click on it go to styling scroll a little bit a little bit down and you can see we have the image here we can just change it give it more um a different feel to it the padding if you want to increase it we can do so uh and so on so it's a very simple drag and drop uh, builder which should include all the things that you need and also i forgot to mention to actually how to publish it uh once you are done with the customization and everything you just go ahead and click Control shift and s and that should publish the page for you and if we just go back to um, pages or actually let me just go back to shopify store here go to online store and hopefully it did load and uh and it should be published basically if not, then it just didn't load in and it's just going to take a little bit of time. Like we can see here. Okay, so apparently it did load in down here. It's still it's still taking a little bit more time. It does take a little bit of time to actually change the entirety of it in here. And again, just feel free to edit more stuff to it or remove stuff like the old uh, thing in here uh this section the future products and uh, this banner you can just remove it you can keep the header uh, and you have the entire page in here for you and again you just if you want to edit it again you can simply just uh go to your apps and go to page fly and you go to pages and then you just click on edit and you'll be able to edit things out within the page just click on it uh, and we can just go ahead and change things in here if you want to remove the stuff from the actual uh, theme that you had previously uh, you may need to go ahead to your online store and customize it from here from here from customize just remove the banner remo remove the the collection stuff unless you want it uh, and that's pretty much it that's how to use Use PageFly to create pages uh, easily with the a very easy builder, which is a drag and drop. Uh, and you have, again, I didn't go through all the options that it actually gives you. There's plenty of settings and stuff to go through here once you actually have some time to go through them. Uh, like swashes and a lot of stuff here so you, you can use. So make sure that you actually go through all of those things. What I went through is how to create pages, but there's a lot more to it. So with that being said, I think that's uh, uh, pretty much going to explain how to, generally speaking, how to use PageFly to create pages and how to use it. You just cl basically click on whichever you want to edit. You just edit things out or change it to your liking. Uh, the uh, How to actually like change the style of it by just going to the styling option. And if you want to add elements, you just go to the left side where you'll be able to add elements. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and have a good day.